All right, race fans. Welcome to Turn Left TV. Be ready for some high speed action tonight. Step on the gas. All right, race fans. Welcome to sunny Long Beach. This is Turn Left TV, and I'm your host, Heath Johnson. The High Octane Racing League IndyCar Series kicks off the first season of 2024. And we're kicking it off right here at Long Beach. It's a 50 lap race to begin an eight race season. We got a lot of drivers out here and a lot of drivers able to win this race. Who wants to get the first race of the win or the first win of the season? Who's going to get it? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's watching right here on Turn Left TV. Well, the drivers here at HOLRL have been clamoring, begging for an IndyCar series to come back, and we have answered. We're gonna kick it off right, baby. Sunny California, it's Long Beach. Let's get this party started. All right, thank you so much for coming in here and joining me here on Turn Left TV, IndyCar back, that's right. Gonna be a fun, fun season. Wow, I'm excited, man. We're kicking it off the right way here at Long Beach, the Grand Prix of Long Beach. 50 lap race tonight. And as a uh, lap or uh, race number one of an eight race season, I'm your host, Heath Johnson, broadcaster, commentator here at Turn Left TV, owner of High Octane Racing League. And like I said, drivers have really, really been messaging me uh, in the Discord server, man. Hey, when's IndyCar coming back? We're ready. And we worked up an eight race season for them and uh, kicking it off right here at Long Beach. Thanks so much for joining us. It's gonna be a fun one. Fast and furious, no doubt. Today's race is brought to you by EliteHostingUSA.com. If you are interested in an R Factor 2 server, there are three self-managed server packages for you to choose from. Also, if you want to host your website or your online store, some VPS hosting and shared web hosting also available through EliteHostingUSA.com. That's who provides our servers here at High Octane Racing League. Don't forget to join us over to HOORL here. HighOctaneRacing.net. There's a quick link to our Discord server where we do most of our business. And that is HighOctaneRacing.net. Take a look at the uh, schedule here in uh, the IndyCar series. Of course, uh, today, a 50-lap race at Long Beach. Next week, we'll be at Barber Motorsports Park. Last, uh, I guess it would be two seasons ago, this was the one that kicked off the season, and it was a fantastic race, man. Tough track there at Barber. Milwaukee Mile, the first oval on the circuit. Yes, Milwaukee Mile. Indy is actually racing at Milwaukee Mile this uh, this year, so that's going to be awesome. Indianapolis GP on May the 11th to finish out the first half of the season. You see Nashville Super Speedway. Indianapolis Motor Speedway, so two ovals in a, ray, uh, a row there uh, for uh, races five and six. Detroit Grand Prix uh, for race number seven, and then Toronto finishing out the season on June the 8th. About uh, five minutes left in the practice session. These guys getting after it right now, trying to fine tune those setups. Oh, 
I want to say thank you so much for joining me here on the YouTube channel. And don't forget that thumbs up button. Subscribe here and then uh, smash the bell. You'll get updates of when races are going live here. But the more people that share these videos, that come out and watch these videos, that hit the thumbs up button, uh, the better we have a chance of beating the algorithm. So uh, thanks to all those folks who have subscribed. Really appreciate it. Never thought I would have this many subscribers. Really never thought I'd have more. About 20, 30 people come out and watch the races. Uh, but love the uh, enthusiasm, love the support, really appreciate it. And again, uh, support me by hitting that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. You're more than welcome to share my videos with uh, on any social media platform where you can share YouTube videos. Come on uh, out there and uh, help support me. Got some links in the description of the race as well. It's a PayPal link if you'd like to make a donation to Turn Left TV. Also, my Sim Lab. Affiliate link is in the description of this race, too. So help me out by clicking on that link. If you decide you want to buy something through them, please use my link here at uh, Turn Left TV. Let's take a look at the track here at Long Beach. Man, this is a fast track, man. A little under two miles in length, 3.167 kilometers in length, 11 turns. It's tight, it's wide open. It's a combination of both. There's some tight turns and a little combination of asphalt and concrete. And it's located in Long Beach, California. Ooh, but there's some pretty girls at the race today. Come on up in the broadcast booth. <laughs> This is Long Beach, man. Uh, love this track. It's going to be a, uh, a challenging race. Tight, tight racing here. Very technical track at Long Beach. And that leads us to the race keys here today at uh, Long Beach. Limit the aggressive driving. Boy, it lends itself to guys wanting to uh, do a little dive bombing here, try to uh, overdrive the corners, but, man, it can really, really turn out to uh, be a bad idea. Uh, hit your marks as you're getting around this track. I think this is more of a race the track. Manage the traffic. There's going to be quite a bit of traffic here tonight. Uh, guys on different speeds and, uh, you know, just a, a short track as well. Uh, really got to take advantage of those passing opportunities because it is so tight. And uh, know when to go, know when to really maybe turn up that aggressiveness. And I think it's going to be maybe in that last 10 laps of the race, you're going to have to really get your car in a position to uh, take advantage of uh, of some guys that might not be uh, up to speed. So those are my keys to the race here at Long Beach. Just under two minutes left to go in the practice session before we go to quals. Quals are two time laps, four laps total, one out lap, two time laps, and then the, the uh, in lap, if you will. I think it's really key here to get a qualification position too. Don't forget a little bit later tonight, we'll be at Talladega. Super Speedway in the High Octane Racing League Saturday Night Thunder, the Cup Series, race number six of the season. And it's a 70 lapper. I get out of the broadcast booth, get in the driver's seat, and mix it up with the boys. It is Talladega Super Speedway in the Saturday Night Thunder. High Octane Racing League uh, Tough Trucks. Where are we at here? We better uh, put up the banner for this. What the heck? High Octane Racing League Tough Trucks will be back in action at Pocono Raceway on Tuesday, April the 23rd, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's the final race of the season. We're going to crown the champion at the Tricky Triangle. 70 lap race to figure it out. And that's coming up on April the 23rd. The little truck series, baby. Tuesdays at HORL.
Well, looks like we are ready to kick it over to Qualls. <laughs> so, uh, four laps, two timed laps to set yourself up for a good starting posi position for this 50 lap race. Guys headed to the qualification session now. Uh, 16 drivers right now 15 drivers in the quals it looks like somebody might have uh, been waiting to get in so Ben Cage I believe will be our first driver out here on the, on the track Again, uh, track position pretty important here. There are some pretty wide, uh, you know, see it's pretty wide through uh, some parts of this track, but I think right now uh, my concern will be some of those tighter portions of the track where you bunch up uh, drivers. Ben Cage trying to get his car up on the front row. Get some chatters in here as well. Claudio Bardelli Jr. All right, our time lap here for Ben Cage. So we got a BTR fan in here. Oh, a little bit of a understeer there in that turn. Three, four in sector number two. Tight uh, final turn here coming down the straight. In cage. 109.629, but a 108.472 is the time to beat. So a Salvia to the top of the grid. Last season's champion, Fabio Maza. Also a uh, good time there for him. 109.354 for Fabio, and he improved upon that, but a 108.472 gonna be hard to beat. Fabio here with lap number two. Right now has a P3. Can he improve upon that? He's got a little bit of work to do. The 108.472 is the target time. Off the final turn, let's see. He's a little bit slower that first sector. Sector number two was uh, not as bad here. Let's see, 109.052 up to P2 for Fabio. How about that, huh? Emerson Sirkowski. 
getting his lap in here. Qualification attempt, I should say. Salvi at the top time. Massa is in second. Zaleski third. Ben Cage fourth. Gordon Carter is in P5. How about Gordon Carter, huh? He's pretty serious. We're a little bit off the pace there in uh, sector number one. Sector two, uh, 1 1.2 seconds off uh, the pace. Sarkowski, great stock car driver. Tim th uh, slings this thing around in the Indy cars as well. A little hard braking right there in uh, the final turn. 111.999. A little bit of work to do th for Emerson, but he is in P7. Harvey Shepard. One hundred seven nine seven nine. Alexi Salviev set the bar high here. The second above P two. Can Harvey Shepard dip into that? These guys came out early as well, man. They came out early for practice. They were they were here so early that I uh, threw me off. I uh, thought I almost started practice an hour early. Shepard there wide on that final turn, giving himself a good run off the turn. So was uh, Shepard uh, backing off that qual attempt? Hugo Correa, man, he was fast in sector number one. Sector two just a little bit off, but he might be shooting for a P2 here. He could uh, maybe squeak in, get P1 here. He's in the uh, he's in the mix. 107.979 is the target time. Hugo Correa, he's looking racy here. He is looking racy. 108.484 up to P2. He's got another lap at him, though. I'll tell you what, Hugo Correa may be able to pick up P1 in your starting position here. Can he win the pole? He's faster in Sector 1. He's a tenth faster, so two more sectors to go for Hugo. Can he uh, put those two together? Hugo Correa trying to uh, knock Alexis Salviev off the pole position. Sector number two is fast. A little bit slower there. Let's see. Down the straight. One oh eight one eight six. He is third, but Andres Valles. Oh boy, Andres Valles up to P one. How about that, Andres? And he's going for lap number two here. A little bit slower in sector two, but nonetheless, so Snowden up to P two. Crazy late uh, qual drama here with Andres Valles snatching the pole position. Can he hold on to it? 107.554 for Andres. Wow. Alexander Meshkov. Oh, slamming the wall there coming off the turn. Definitely going to hurt there, and I think he may have lost that front wing. He did, so uh, he's going to try to limp this in to get a qual time. Yeah. 
Alexander, or excuse me, William Snowden. You right now, P2. It looks like that's where he'll stay. So 107.994 or 944 for William Snowden. Wow, man, these guys uh, bringing it down to the end of the uh, to the wire there, aren't they? A good run there for William Snowden, and I think that will end the qualifications. And these guys have elected to start in the back. Thanks so much for coming out here and joining me on Turn Love TV. Really appreciate you being here. Let's get this party started. All right, we'll take a look at the uh, qualification results. Thank you so much for joining me here on Turn Left TV. Well, I'm your host, Heath Johnson. 50-lap uh, race here tonight. We've just finished the qualification session, and let's take a look at the uh, qualification results. I think we're ready to go for the qualification results. We'll see. <laughs> Not showing me the qual results here for some reason. What? What is going on? 
Oh, I see. Because I had a lot of warm up because I'm an idiot. There we go. Hey, man. Not a professional here. Andres Valles with a 107 554 is P1. William Snowden starts in the second position. Alexi Salviev starts in third. Hugo Correa fourth. Fabio Abasa starts in the fifth position. Bid Cage starts in sixth. Seventh will be Gordon Carter. Eugene Fedorov starts in eighth. Emerson Sarkowski starts in the ninth position. Javaldo Spindola starts in P10. Starting in the 11th position is Alexander Meshkov. Harvey Shepard will start 12. Tony Furtado 13th. 14th will be Claudio Bardelli Jr. I think we actually have uh, 15, 16 drivers here tonight. So. Getting some uh, chatters in here as well. Good, uh, good to see people out uh, watching the race. We are doing a restart of warm up to give these guys a full warm up session. And again, good to see the chatters out here. People watching the race. See if the uh, side by sides working here before we get uh, too far into this. Looks like that's working there, so hopefully we'll uh, get some good side by side views, uh, especially with guys coming down pit lane to kind of check out how they're uh, doing on pits. Again, taking a look at the schedule here in the uh, IndyCar series, and I, uh, I've had a lot of guys uh, that are part of our Discord server that raced in these series uh, the last two uh, seasons, and they've really, really been clamoring, man. Hey, we want IndyCar back. When's it going to be back? So uh, had some sort of life events hit me. Um, I lost both my parents in November and then February, and, and uh, you know, sort of taking a little bit of time. Uh, but uh, thought about a season, took, took a look at the, uh, the schedule of the real Indy cars and put one together for them. And uh, thanks to those guys for being patient here. So it's kicking it off tonight here at Long Beach. But uh, take a look at those first uh, four races, the first half of the season. we got Barber Motorsports Park coming up next week. Milwaukee Mile, the first oval, Indianapolis GP on uh, race number four on May the 11th. In the back half of the season, we got Nashville Indy. And that is the Oval, Detroit Grand Prix in Toronto. So two ovals and two road courses on the back half of the season. So uh, we have three ovals and five road courses uh, this season. later tonight we'll be at talladega super speedway in the stock cars in the cup series the high octane racing league saturday night thunder series it's race number six of the season 
And it uh, should be a great one. 70 lap race, a lot of drafting here, and uh, should have a big field here tonight at Talladega. Uh, get down to the broadcast booth, get in the driver's seat, and mix it up with the boys in the Saturday Night Thunder. Well, my pick to win this race. My pick to win this race will be Andres Valles. Who I think is going to bring home the victory, although he's got a tough field to uh, hold off. Got Shepard here, uh, Salviev. Snowden is fast. Hugo Correa fast. Man, I'll tell you what, you got some. Hugo <laughs> Correa picking Ricky Bobby tonight. Wow. Who's that? Who's Ricky Bobby? He didn't do any cars. Well, Dennis joined our team speak, but now he's on uh, chat. Hopefully he's going to hit that car out on the track. Four and a half minutes left here in the warm-up session. Wow, Emerson, huh? Who? <laughs> Emerson Sierkowski. Absolutely, Hugo saying it's all about keeping it off the walls. That is uh, no doubt about that one. I think, uh, really worried about guys trying to take it too wide through some of those really tight turns. Again, thanks for uh, joining me here on Turn Left TV. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so, and then smash the bell. You get updates when races are going live. Thanks to all those supporters out there. Uh, and then send those links out to get people coming in here and watching the races, hitting the thumbs up button, and subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate that. Thanks to all those folks who have done so. Also, I got some links in the description of the race would uh, help me out by clicking on those links. Right now showing 16 drivers. I thought we were going to have 17, but uh, not sure. I click on that Sim Lab link in the description of this race. I have a Sim Lab race rig. I have the GT1 Evo. Just the base deal has been so easy to set up. I attach my DD1 uh, wheelbase and uh, pedals. It's already pre drilled for the, the wheelbase, already pre drilled for the pedals. I have the uh, V3 inverted pedals. And uh, not just uh, Fanatec stuff, but also other uh, other types of um, wheel and pedal combinations as well. Pre-drilled, easy to put together, and it's also been easy to buy custom pieces. I can buy them off eBay. I, I order them through 8020.net and attach those to the uh, profile. So it's been really awesome, and it's a uh, solid. I actually do my broadcasting right from the sim rig, as well as my uh, my driving. 
Uh, so please help me out by click, clicking on that Sim Lab link and uh, follow them if you decide to uh, use that link if you decide to uh, purchase something through them. About a minute and a half left in the warm-up session. Thought old Dinluck was going to be joining us on the track. Guess he's uh, going to moderate our chat here tonight. Meshkov there, hard hit in the warm-up session. Meshkov has been such a wealth of knowledge with respect to uh, RF2. You know, definitely when I was shifting over to do, uh, you know, run the run the league and and uh, get that taken care of, Meshkov had been a wealth of knowledge for me. With respect to the sim, he knows so much about the sim, so uh, it's been been great. Look at Emerson Sarkowski. One of our great uh, Brazilian drivers. I'll tell you what, last uh, last season, last season the uh, the champion was um, dominating. And can he repeat? And that is Alexi Salviev. So here we go, boys and girls. Here we go. A 50 lap race here tonight to kick off an eight race season. It, it is Long Beach. It should be a fun one. And let's get the starting order. Andres Valier starts in P1. William Snowden starts in the second position. Alexi Salviev will start in P3. Hugo Correa starts in the fourth position. Starting in five is Fabio Maza. Mateus Zaleski starts in sixth, Ben Cage seventh. Gordon Carter starts in the eighth position. Starting in the ninth position will be Eugene Fedorov. Javaldo Spindle starts in P10. Alexander Meshkov starts in the 11th position. Harvey Shepard will start in P12. Starting in 13th will be Roy Tan. Uh, Tony Furtado starts 14th. Claudio Bardella Jr. 15th. And Emerson Sarkowski will start in the 16th position. Let's take a look at the uh, keys to the race. Tonight at uh, Long Beach, limit the aggression, man. This thing will reach out and bite you if you get too aggressive. Hit your marks. It's about racing the track here, but you're going to have to manage traffic. Undoubtedly, we're going to see, uh, with this race being a 60-minute race, we're going to see some lap traffic here. So passing opportunities, pick and choose when those passing opportunities arise. And be smart about that, but then know when to go, baby. Should be a good one. So Andres Valles will lead the field to take the green flag. Snowden on the outside of him. 
Those guys had a great season last season in the IndyCars. Can they repeat? we got some really strong racers here today. And like I said, guys have been clamoring to get back in here and uh, get some Indy racing in. And they've been patient. So hopefully we reward them with providing them with some good tracks, some good competition, some good clean fun. Here we go. This is going to be a madhouse. Pace cars off. Side by side here for the starts. Blue flag, go, go, go. And we're green. Here at Long Beach. And they're already four wide, by heavens, man. This guy's getting after it already. Valles into turn one. Salviev already jumps ahead. Oh, yes, opened up a little bit of a gap there. Alexis Salviev running in second. William Snowden third. Hugo Correa fourth. Mateus Zaleski is in fifth. Take a look at Mateus Zaleski running in P5. On board here with him. Oh, and smacking the wall coming off the turn. Hard right side contacts for him. Might have been a little warping there. Cars jump to the right. Harvey Shepard here and Gordon Carter having a uh, fist fight right now. Take a look at this uh, pass as uh, Harvey Shepard goes to the inside. Battling Gordon Carter and gets by, picks up a position. So uh, Shepard up to uh, eighth, Carter back to ninth. Take a look at uh, Salviev running in P2. Just behind him, William Snowden. Like I said, it's hard to pass here. Really, uh, guys are going to be obviously fast in those wider areas of the track, but through these tight areas, really, really hard to pass. Got to be patient to set these passes up. William Snowden running in P3. Correa is in fourth. Zaleski running in the fifth position. We'll take a look at Ben Cage. Cage running in P6. He picked up that spot. We'll take a look at that pass to uh, pick up the sixth position. And ben Cage uh, getting around Fabio. We'll take a look at this pass here. Uh, tighten it up there. And Fabio had some trouble coming off the turn. Ben Cage gets a good run, taking advantage of that. And now gets by. So Fabio now falling back to a P7. It's Ben Cage picking up P6. That fight's not over, I don't think. As we go back to live, Andres Valles is our leader, and he's got a pretty good lead. 2.6, now 2.9 seconds for him. I think Fabio's had some trouble. Fabio had some trouble here as he had just pulled off that pa uh, pass and he got loose. Or, uh, he got past it. We tried to get a by, back by 49 car. He tried to get back by a uh, bid cage and was not able to do it. And we got chaos there. It looked like uh, maybe Givaldo come around as well. Take a look at Givaldo as uh, those guys are passing. Oh, and Givaldo gets a little bit loose. He comes across the track and smashes the wall. Take a look at uh, Tony Furtado getting by as Fabio's had some trouble. Got a battle here as Andres Valles getting by Mateus Zaleski. Not sure what happened to Andres. Maybe a warping uh, incident. I'm not sure, but uh, now. Might have been a little bit of a warping.
warping uh, situation there as uh, Valles giving up a spot here. Actually, looks like he's back, so it looked like maybe an issue there with uh, the track. Fabio Massa uh, trying to get by Tony Furtado. Furtado on that inside. Fabio slings it into the turn, trying to play catch up there after that uh, spin. Now claims uh, P13. Take a look at Roy Tan. Uh, he's running in the ninth position. Just ahead of him, Gordon Carter in P8. Good battle here. Horrible camera view there. Don't need to see the top of the bridge. Is uh, Roy Tan closing in on uh, Gordon Carter? So good battle. Gordon Carter trying to hold him off. And uh, Carter opened up a little bit of a gap there on Roy Tan. Eugene Fedorov uh, just behind these guys as well. He is running in the 10th uh, position. So good top 10 run here for Eugene. Here in the 18 car. Emerson Sarkowski and uh, Alexander Meshkov here have battling it out. Sarkowski to the inside and picks up that spot. Meshkov now falls back to the 12th position. As Emerson Sarkowski picks up P11. Claudio Bardelli Jr. Picking up a spot there as I think uh, Tony Furtado might have uh, gone off. Claudio trying to play catch up there. He had a little trouble earlier. Trying to play catch up now in the 14th position. One of our stock car aficionados. And our race leader is Andres Valles. And the best uh, battle on the track, really, is uh, Gordon Carter, Roy Tan. That's a good three way battle, actually, as uh, Fedorov in this mix as well. And these guys starting to roll up on some traffic. Little blue flag there. He advises Javali gives a room, but uh, Roy Tan going to use this opportunity to make that pass and gets around Gordon Carter. Roy Tom was ready to strike, and he got that spot. Take a look at his pass here as uh, Roy Tom, after they got around Gibaldo, goes to the inside. Good run there for him, and he picks up that spot. Gordon Carter now falls back to ninth. Roy is up to the eighth position. Andres Valles, uh, 2.7 second lead over Alexis Salviev. Snowden in third, Correa is fourth, Zaleski is in the fifth position. Take a look at Fabio Massa, he's had some trouble. We saw him have trouble earlier and he's missing the front wing, so he is on pit lane to take some service. Oh, a little bit of contact there for Andres. So Massa on pit lane. And Valles might have made contact with the wall. Take a look at our side-by-side -side view here as uh, Fabio Massa on pit lane. And he's finishing up his pit stop now, getting a wing back. Now coming back out on track. He is in P14. Well, he's now 2.2 seconds as Salviev starting to dip into that lead just a little bit. He can see him. Alexis Salviev is in the second position. William Snowden is third. Correa fourth. Zaleski is fifth. Take a look at Harvest Shepard running in the seventh position. Trying to set his sights on P6 as Ben Cage, the teammate. And he's starting to close in on Ben Cage. 
On board here with Harvey Shepard looking ahead at Ben Cage running in the sixth position. See Bardelli Jr. lap car in P13. Such a tight uh, turn right there, that right hander. Some great racing here so far. Well, teammates here duking it out. Right there, we got uh, Harvey Shepard in the inside getting by Ben Cage. Probably a little bit more of a wave by uh, knowing those guys are teammates. You start doing that in the last five laps there. I'm not sure he's going to move over and let him go. A lot of laps to go here. We're on lap number nine. Take a look at Gordon Carter running in the uh, ninth position in the uh, 56 car. High place moving sponsor machine. He's trying to hold on to the back of uh, Roy Ton's machine. we got a battle here for P2. William Snowden. Oh, Salviev, he's coming down pit lane. That's it. Salviev giving up his position to come down pit lane. Take his... Uh, Tires in fuel. And William Snowden picking up that spot. And now Salviev on pit lane. Well, that might start the train for guys coming on to pits. Ten laps in. Maybe just 50 laps. This might be a long race here tonight, huh? Exhausting race, that's for sure. Well, our leader is Andres Valles. He's got a 5.7 second lead over William Snowden. Salviev, long pit stop here for him. Long pit stop for Salvia. Well, I don't know if he's getting damage repaired to that car or, or what's going on there with Alexi. He is on pit lane for a long, long time. Maybe getting some damage repaired. Maybe taking a bathroom break. <laughs> he is now in the 14th position, so a long, long pit stop here for Alexi Salvia. Not exactly what I think he had in mind, but it is a long race. He might be able to get those spots back. Take a look at Mateus Zaleski here running in the fourth position. Oh, oh! Zaleski uh, spin in the car didn't get all the way around but he loses the front wing of the car he made contact and he is going to have to come down pit lane boy that thing absolutely got Caddy Wampus on him take a look watch this he's just going to take this uh, left hander here and he just gets out of uh, out of the groove loses the back end of the car and then slams into the wall tough break there for Zaleski we had some more trouble too. Take a look at uh, Andres Valles. He's not having any trouble, but he's got a 6.4 second lead over William Snowden. Hugo Correa is in the uh, third position. Good run here for him in the 37 or the 27 car. 6.2 seconds off uh, P2. He's 13 and a half seconds down to the race leader. RV Shepard running in P4 in the 24 car. Good run here for him. He's actually in the 5 car, but uh, this guy's doing skid uploads. 7.4 seconds down to uh, P P3. Ben Cage trying to close in. 
He's running in the fifth position. Good top five run here for Ben Cage. Salviev is down a lap. Now that is crazy, man. Uh, he has gone down one lap. He was on pit lane for a long, long time. He now finds himself back in the 14th position. Claudio Bardelli Jr., I think he's had some trouble. Take a look here, taking out some cones. Claudio Bardelli Jr. might have gotten uh, gotten spun around. It looks like he has. As, uh, he's taking out some cones, getting that car back out on the track here. What a horrible camera angle, man. I was trying to improve that. That didn't work. Take a look at this again. We'll, we'll almost get to see him spin out. There we go. So you see him taking out a few cones there, knocking them out on the track, and getting that car uh, pointed in the right direction. Got Gordon Carter here now back in the 11th position after making pit stop. One lap down in P11. Meshkov is the last car on the lead lap, but he's running in the ninth position. I was saying earlier, Meshkov's been such a wealth of knowledge for me. Great technical advice, especially when I was starting out and uh, running our, uh, taking over our race league and, um, you know, also with various sims, with the GT3, with the Indy cars, uh, of course, stock cars as well. And he's been a great source of, uh, you know, knowledge, advice. And does a great job. You talk about a level-headed dude, man. He never uh, never gets fired up about anything. You know, just sort of even keel. Uh, really a popular uh, driver. Like I said, a, a wealth of knowledge here in RF2. And he's right now running in the ninth position. Good top ten run here for Meshkov. Meshkov. Oh, man. Did you see him save that car? That thing got uh, loose. Almost lost the back end of it. We've got uh, Zaleski's had some trouble. Zaleski, I think, may have had some trouble here. Oh, it looks like he's retired his machine. Uh, guys starting to get uh, a little bit loose here with the uh, with the cars, so. Bardelli Jr. has had some trouble. He's retired his car. Two cars out of the race. Zaleski and Bardelli Jr. Collier has a big lead. 6.6 .6 seconds over William Snowden. Correa third. Shepard fourth. Ben Cage in fifth. Those guys all came out throughout the week and got a lot of laps in, and it shows. Take a look at Emerson Sierkowski running in the eighth position. Good top ten run here for Emerson. This 55 car. About 1.5 seconds off of P7. Harvey Shepard and uh, Hugo Correa. Mixing it up there a little bit. Looks like a Shepard picking up a spot now up to the third position. Is that thing Correa? I mean, this is a Correa, uh, Harvey Shepard back to P4. And he's on pit lane. That's what the deal is right there. Pit lane for uh, Harvey Shepard. Correa picking up a spot as Harvey Shepard uh, on pit lane. Now finishing up his pit stop. Check it on Ben Cage. Right now, running in the fifth position. Top five run. We've got a lot of teammates up here that come out early in the week, got some practice in. 
early today, and I mean early today, and got a lot of practice laps in, and it shows. It absolutely shows. Eugene Federoff having a good night here. He's running in the seventh position. Four and a half seconds down to P6. So Federoff, the snow maiden. No pick today. I don't know what you're talking. Yeah, I gave a pick. Got to scroll back, baby. I mean, my pick to win. Oh, wait. Uh, I think I had to do a refresh here. So, yeah, my pick to win the race. Who was my pick to win the race? Valles. That's who my pick to win the race was. Tony Furtado out of the race. He's had some issues. As we take a look at Eugene Federoff running in P7. We're starting to roll up on halfway here in just a few laps. But Valles is in control. On race Valles, P1, 6.8 second lead over P2. Snowden is uh, having a good night here, running in the second position. Correa is third, Shepard fourth, Ben Cage in fifth. Fedorov is on pit lane. Fedorov's got some uh, front end damage to this car. He's getting repaired. So Eugene Fedorov up on the jack. Getting a new wing here, now uh, firing off pit lane. Trying to get a good top 10 run out of Eugene Fedorov. So had some issues there. Had to have a new wing put on that. So we had some contact. Got that repaired, now back out on track. Just losing a position, so he is in the ninth position. Meshkov has gotten by and he's in P8. Don't forget a little bit later, we'll be at Talladega Super Speedway with the High Octane Racing League Saturday Night Thunder. Race number six of the season, and it's a 70 lapper. I get out of the broadcast booth, get in the driver's seat, and mix it up with the stock car boys. It's the Cup Series at High Octane Racing League, the Saturday Night Thunder. Gibaldo picking up a spot there. It looks like Claudio has retired his machine. So Gibaldo now up to P14. Got a little bit of uh, company behind him. Take a look at there. Harvey Shepard running in P4, trying to get by the lap car of uh, Gibaldo Spindler. Gibaldo gave him a lot of room, staying on the inside. And Harvey Shepard getting by with no problem. He is in the fourth position. Three cars out of the race. Seleski, Bardelli Jr., and Furtado out of the race. Tough track. War of attrition. We take a look at Emerson Sarkowski running in the seventh position. Sarkowski, the last car on the lead lap. Fabio Massa trying to bounce back here after having an early race incident in his 48 car. He is uh, one lap down, running in the 11th position. You see that car a little loose coming around the corner. Just trying to take care of it. As he is battling for position there, Gordon Carter just ahead running in the uh, 10th position. So good top 10 run here for him, but uh, 1.6 seconds separate the two of those guys. So like Carter a little bit better through the straights, a little bit more straightaway speed for Gordon Carter, and this may be a consequence of uh, Fabio getting into the wall earlier in the race. So 
we'll keep our eyes on that uh, that battle. As Gordon Carter trying to extend that lead on Fabio. As we look out of the back of uh, Gordon Carter's machines, of Fabio uh, back about uh, one second or so. So he is closing back in. Down, down under a second. So Fabio on the move. Trying to close in here on Gordon Carter. Carter in 10th. Fabio running in the 11th position. And that's starting to tighten up. You see that car getting bigger and bigger and bigger right there. Fabio Mazza trying to get by. Gordon Carter. This battle heating up here. This is for the 10th spot. On board here with Fabio. As he's closing in on Gordon Carter. Carter in 10th. Through the fountain, around the fountain. See that car breaking loose just a little bit. Got some lap traffic ahead, and that is Givaldo. Givaldo just ahead. I'm sure he's going to let these guys go, but nonetheless, definitely can affect uh, that battle between those two. Going way low, letting uh, Gordon Carter and Fabio Maza get by. Great battle here on lap 23. Eugene Fedorov picking up a spot as Emerson Sierkowski had gone on to pit lane. So Fedorov now up to P8. Sierkowski back to the ninth position. Maza, had, uh, Maza is uh, closing in here on Gordon Carter. Carter, oh, a little bit wide right there as Maza gets by. Fabio steals that position as Gordon Carter got wide. Let's take a look at uh, what happened here. Gordon Carter just missed that turn, I believe. Maybe a little bit of mirror driving. Got wide right here. Got into the wall. Doesn't knock off the uh, front wing, but loses a position. Wow. Fabio getting by. On board here with Fabio. Check this out as uh, Gordon Carter just swings wide right there and Fabio able to sneak around. Fabio Johnny on the spot here just to take advantage of that uh, contact and gets by. Take a look at this. Harvey Shepard picking up a spot as Hugo Correa, I believe, is on pit lane. Harvey Shepard is up to the third position. Hugo is in fourth, but he is on pit lane taking service. Let's see uh, Hugo Correa finishing up his pit stop, coming back out on track. Got to be really careful here. Guys, we're talking about this blue line. Can they race on the right side of that blue line? I said, if you make contact with somebody coming off pit lane, that's on you. As now Hugo Correa rejoins the racing surface, and he is on, uh, in P5, so he lost a couple positions there. Shepard having a good night. Running in P3. William Snowden is in the second position. Just under nine seconds, about nine seconds or so, down to the race leader. And the race leader is Andres Valles. Three cars out of the race. Duvaldo Spindle on pit lane. So is Eugene Fedorov. A little bit more of an extended pit stop there for Fedorov, I believe. Right now in the 11th position, but he is on pit lane. As Valles, our leader, in control. 8.6 second lead over William Snowden. Oh, yeah, he's picking him up and putting him down. Good starting position for him. And he has been 
flawless today. Uh, Jesus, I think you're talking about uh, Jesus talking to me in the chat session. I don't know if he's talking to me about uh, the icons, but um, if he is, skin uploads are enabled, so it would not actually show the uh, the paint scheme. So I turn off the icons, so it doesn't show the default icon when uh, a custom skin is there. So Andres Valles, our leader, 9.5 seconds, so opening up that gap. Gordon Carter closing in on Fabio Massa. Fabio has had some trouble. Fabio had gotten around earlier, and Fabio's had some trouble. Not sure what uh, what's happened to Fabio, but he got around. Uh, take a look at Fabio here. Fabio had gotten around Gordon Carter. He really worked pretty hard to get around the 56 car, so this 48 car has given that position back, and we're checking it out here on replay. So uh, no problems here. So Fabio uh, all good here, but uh, I, he ends up losing a wing, so he's obviously had some trouble because he's given up a position. And I think Andres Valles, our race leader, is on pit lane. Fabio definitely had some trouble, and we're not sure uh, Fabio Massa has had trouble. He lost the wing and uh, given up that spot. I'm not sure. Oh, man. Got a little wide right there. Maybe the car's getting tight. Salvi have gotten by, but uh, yeah, Fabio definitely had some trouble. They go to Ben Cage here, picking up a position as Roy Tan is on pit lane. Our leader, uh, Andres Valles, has given up the race lead to come down pit lane. William Snowden is our leader. Valles off pit lane, now 26 seconds back, but he's in P2. So William Snowden, we know, has to make a pit stop at some point. Getting some laps led, William Snowden. Kowski now picking up a spot here as a Meshkov is on pit lane. Maybe uh, maybe he's talking about this picture here. Uh, we get a picture of the driver. Look at that concentration. Kowski, laser focused. Hugo Correa running in the third position. Good run here. Oh, no. Fedorov's come around, too. Look at this. Fedorov, he's come around. He's had some trouble. We've got a little bit loose right here. It keeps it out of the wall. But it looked like... Um, man, I tell you what. Uh, Hugo Correa dodged a bullet there, I believe. And that looked like um, Massa had spun around, so he might be missing. Yeah, he's back on pit lane. And I don't know. Uh, he's got that car straightened back up, but he's going to have to limp it around and go back down pit lane to uh, get a wing put on that car. He's had a, a eventful night, that is for sure, here in this 48. He worked so hard uh, to pick up those spots, and now gives them back up. And uh, again, Fedorov, uh, we'll take a look at this spin here. And he does a great job of keeping it out of the wall. Of course, he has an advantage of, uh, or the luck of it being a pretty wide area of the track. But uh, Fedorov 
given up a spot. Now back to, or excuse me, gained a spot, and he's in the P11. And uh, take a look at this. William Snowden's on pit lane, our race leader. Snowden on pit lane as he's given up the race lead back to Andres Valles, and that was a fast pit stop there for William Snowden. Back out on track in P2. As Valles in some lap traffic. Voiton in the fifth position, and Valles is picking him up and putting him down right now. Gets around P5. Snowden uh, is in the second position. He'll be rolling up on that lap traffic here fairly soon. Emerson Sarkowski now picking up P6. As Ben Cage is uh, finishing up his pit stop. So Sarkowski now trying to crack the top five. William Snowden is ahead. We only have four cars on the lead lap. And these guys, I'll tell you what, they came to play today. Andres Valles is the leader, and he's got a 12-second lead over William Snowden. I'll tell you what, for the most part, we've had a pretty clean race. We haven't really seen uh, drivers get into one another. In contact, in that respect, we've seen more guys, you know, uh, get loose or overdrive the turn and uh, have some understeer and get into the wall. Will Dunbar commenting about uh, commenting about um, Salviev. And his ability to be able to come back and, and give it a shot. He is two laps down, so he's had a pretty interesting night here. He's in the Elite Hosting sponsor machine. A little bit of battle there in front of him. Givaldo letting the uh, lead lap car go by. Salviev hoping to get the same treatment and he does as uh, Givaldo giving him a lot of room. See that battle there P1, P2 uh, 11 and a half second gap there between P1, P2. I think we saw later in the run that Snowden was closing in, like narrowing that gap. We will see here as we have about 18 laps to go how this works out. Can Snowden tick off enough time to uh, give Valles a run for his money? Get a battle here as it uh, looks like Shepard getting by. Oh, no, we got some issues here. Look at Correa might have had some trouble. Hugo Correa, we'll take a look here. There's a Givaldo. Oh, there's contact there. Oh, no, got into the back of Givaldo in a very tight area of the track, and it's collected some cars. Massa might have got in that as well. But uh, Harvey Shepard got around. We'll take a look here again. You see uh, Givaldo in 13th. Fabio is in 12th. And Hugo, uh, excuse me, yeah, Hugo Correa gets into the back of Givaldo. And then Fabio gets caught up in that. Right there, wow. Fabio Massa had nowhere to go. He's a lap car, but uh, watch this. This guy's get together. And then track is blocked. And there's a contact. So one of the BTR guys, Hugo Correa, involved. And the track blocked here, so you got to be patient and getting through. Holy smokes. Hugo Correa having some trouble. This thing just come around on him. We'll take a look at this one last time. And he gets into the back of uh, Givaldo. 
Caught the lap car in a pretty tight section of the track, and then there was contact there. And even more contact. These guys getting around. Wow, man. Some late race drama for Hugo Correa. He's in fourth, but that car definitely damaged. Valle says, I want nothing to do with that, man. Give me none of that. 12-second lead over William Snowden. Shepard is in third. Correa back to the fourth position. Roy Tan is in fifth. And I think, uh, you know, Shepard might have made contact with these guys as well. See, he got through. And I think there might have been some contact with... Uh, so Harvey Shepard was in this. Watch uh, watch where Shepard comes up on this. The track's going to be blocked for him, I think. So he rounds this turn, right-hander, and then look at that. There's uh, nowhere to go for him up into the wall. He tries to squeeze through, and he makes a little bit of contact with the wall right here and sneaks through. Hearts all over the track. So Shepard snuck through, but he got some right side da or left, left side damage. That's the danger at this track. You got some blind corners and it's tight. Well, Harvey Shepard in there in third. Definitely gonna have some damage. He needs to get repaired. And he is on pit lane. Shepard making a pit stop. Shepard on pit lane as uh, he is going to have to get this car repaired. Here on lap 35. Probably not exactly what he was looking for. But I would suggest to you these guys might have to come back down pit, pit lane again. And this could be, uh, although a little extra time to put some good parts back on that car. It might be a situation where it doesn't hurt him that bad. But he is on pit lane just a little bit longer than normal. So he might have some more significant damage than what I thought. He does give up a spot. He's back to P4. William Snowden running into the second position, 13 seconds back to the race leader. Roy Tan has uh, gotten lapped, Hugo Correa lapped, but uh, I think Valles is going to have to come down pit lane. Take a look at William Snowden running in the second position. So I mentioned that lap traffic could be an issue. Earlier in the uh, race, I uh, threw up the race keys as we went to start, and I uh, said manage traffic. So late in the race, we knew we were going to see lap traffic, and we knew that the track is pretty tight in some areas. So if you get a car that uh, gets into the wall, blocks the track, can be a problem, and it has been a problem. Harvey Shepard here running in the fifth position. Good top five run. These guys, these PTR guys come to uh, play today, man. And it shows dominating the front of the grid here as that car got a little bit loose coming off the corner. Here on lap 37. Tires might be wearing out here for him. Who knows? Emerson Sarkowski running in the sixth position. Ben Cage just behind him, and this battle is for position. Sarkowski in P6. Ben Cage, uh, Cage is in the seventh position. And ben Cage seeing if he can't get around here to uh, make a late race pass. Pick your uh, spots. It's tight right through here. Half a second gap separating the two of them. a 
take a look here out of uh, the front of Ben Cage's machine. He's running in seventh. Uh, Emerson Sierkowski running in the sixth position. Cage wants a round. He's just got to try to find a spot. Sierkowski looks to be a little bit better off the corners. That gap now uh, six-tenths of a second. This battle for the sixth position. We'll keep our eye on that one. Hugo Correa and Roy Tan battling it out. Correa to the inside. Correa picking up that spot, getting by Roy Tan. Now up to the third position. Tan back to P4. Rolling up on some lap traffic as well. Just ahead, some lap traffic. Better off letting those guys by, and uh, Correa now opening up a gap on Roy Ton. Now 1.6 seconds down. Take a look at Gordon Carter. He's two laps down, but he's running in the 10th position. Good top 10 run here for Gordon. We just have three cars out of the race. 13 cars still in the hunt. The Salviev had gotten by Gordon Carter. Take a look at Alexis Salviev after making pit stop. He is uh, on the move here, maybe trying to do that final push to the finish. He is two laps down, however. Getting by Gordon Carter, picking up the ninth position. Ben Cage uh, getting by uh, Emerson Sierkowski. Sierkowski got in the outside wall. And Ben Cage picking up a spot. Whoa, slung that car through the turn. Wow. So what a battle there. Take a look at this again as uh, Sierkowski got into the wall. I believe, we'll take a look at this. Here we go, Sarkowski got into the wall right there as a Ben Cage takes advantage of that and uh, slings that car into the corner, chops down a little bit, but picks up that spot. Uh, Emerson Sarkowski's come down pit lane. I think Harvey Shepard and Roy Ton here battling it out. Harvey Shepard going to the right. Going to the inside and picks up that spot. But Roy Ton now going to have to try to get that back. He's in fifth. Shepard in P4. Been a good battle here between the two of these guys. Roy Ton had gotten back by Hugo Correa. Correa came down pit lane, I believe, and uh, Roy had picked up that spot. So some good battling from the BTR guys, huh? Good clean fun. Andres Valle says, I want none of that, man. I want to run away with this. He's got a 12-second lead, almost a 13-second lead over P2. William Snowden in second. Correa is third. Shepard fourth. Roy Tan is in fifth. Sixth is Ben Cage, Sarkowski seventh. Meshkov, haven't checked in on him in a while. He's running in the eighth position. A good run here for him. Good top ten run for Alexander Meshkov. Salviev, another one of our Russian drivers, uh, running in the ninth position. A beautiful paint scheme, man. That chrome there on the side is just fantastic. He won our championship last season. And looking to uh, repeat. It's a tough race here for him tonight, but he has a top 10 run. We got a battle here. Uh, I believe Hugo Correa, Roy Tan. And I think maybe. Uh, Maybe Ben Cage is on pit lane. I think Roy Tons had some trouble there, maybe. 
Ben Cage on pit lane. He has got some problems. Correa. Uh, Correa um, pick, picking up a spot, I believe. And he is now up to the third position. Shepard back to fourth. And Ben Cage is on pit lane with a late race pit stop here. Giving up a position to Alexander Meshkov. So Ben Cage on uh, pit lane. As Meshkov picking up that spot. A long pit stop here for Ben Cage here on lap 43. And I gotta wonder if some of these guys don't have to come back down pit lane, and take some fuel. Might be close on fuel here. Cage on pit lane for a significantly long pit stop. Not good here late in the race. We go back here to live to uh, Andres Valles, our leader. Salviev and Carter have both gotten by Cage, so he's now back to P10. Sitting on pit lane. Take a look at Salviev now up to P8. Taking advantage of some of those uh, misfortunes of some of the other drivers. Valles has uh, really driven a great race. Not to say flawless, but he has been pretty close to flawless here tonight. He's got a 13 second, almost a 14 second lead over P2. And P2 is William Snowden running in the second position. So the BTR guys do have a P2 car. Ben Cage retiring his machine. So what a tough break for, for Ben Cage. He was running in the top five, now retired. Really, I think for Andres Valles, it is all about staying out of trouble here, driving this track. If somebody comes up on you and they have fresher tires, just let them go. There's no sense in racing somebody and damaging your machine and, and ruining your race. As here we are approaching five laps to go. Five laps to go for Andres Valles. He's showing us how it's done, man. He's been pretty flawless here at this track. And he's had a lot of laps in here as well. These guys all came out. I mean, if you look at the, uh, say, the top five drivers, they're dominated by guys who got out here early, got laps in throughout the week, Got in here early today and turned a lot of laps, and it shows. This is not a track where you can just jump in a car without having some uh, significant amount of practice and make this thing competitive. Fabio Massa on pit lane. Looks like more damage getting repaired for him. But Fabio running in the 11th position. But he is a late race pit stop. Salviev here trying to get through some uh, traffic. Some traffic ahead for him. See right there we got a car off the pace. 
That is Givaldo off the pace. Uh, and um, Salviev getting by. So it is tight here. Givaldo uh, running in the uh, 13th spot. They're missing that front wing. As it looks like Gordon Carter has gotten by. Gordon Carter running in the ninth position. The top ten, or top uh, ten run for him. Fedorov is in tenth. He's four laps down in the tenth position in this 84 car. Running up on some traffic. These Indy cars are a lot of fun, man. I know uh, opinions differ on that, but uh, really have a lot of fun with these Indy cars. I think of all the official mods with uh, R Factor 2, I think I've got to go with the Indy cars. I think it's just been a great mod. It's a popular mod. And I know, I mean, the LMPs. Uh, you know, the DPI stuff, the uh, the GT3 cars also, that's a close second for me. But I, I think the Indy cars for me are, are, are better. Hugo Correa and uh, Harvey Shepard. Hugo Correa running in. Uh, take a look at this. Uh, Hugo Correa running in the third position. Harvey Shepard is fourth. This guy's been pretty close to one another, and there is only about a second separating the two of them. So we may see a late race pass here between the teammates. Correa wants to hold on to P3. Harvey Shepard wants that position. We'll see how hard they race each other here with uh, two to go. Valles has been in control pretty much all race long. Clear track ahead for him as we're just under two laps to go. That battle behind is tightening up. One lap to go for Andres Valles. We quickly check our side-by-side uh, -side view there on uh, Hugo Correa and Harvey Shepard. This is getting serious between the two of those guys. It is getting serious. Harvey Shepard to the inside. Harvey Shepard to the inside. Hugo Correa muscles off the turn. And Harvey Shepard tried to sling that car into the turn. He might have a few more opportunities, but wow. I knew that was getting tight. Andres Valles. All over but the shout now for him. Andres Valles. In the three car, has been dominating today here at uh, Long Beach. And Andres Valles, the final turn down the straightaway. And Valles in the three car, going to bring home the victory here at Long Beach. What a good run there for Andres. Let me see if we can't get a, uh, a screenshot here. It's a little tricky here. Get some walls. So Valles, uh, see, he's, uh, he's cooperating. <laughs> Valles uh, giving us the opportunity, uh, hopefully, to get a screenshot. Not hearing anything on the... Uh, Be 
better let me get a screenshot, my God. <laughs> Not hearing any uh, clicker noise. That could be a bad deal. Let's see if it uh, turns out that I got a screenshot. Yeah, all right. That was quiet for me there. So great job to Andres Valles on uh, getting the win. He's going to do his burnout. Donuts. A great job to Andres on getting the win. Wow. Fantastic uh, run there for him. Let's say flawless, but it was pretty darn close. So, uh, gets the first win of the season, Andres Valles. We'll take a look at the final results here as uh, we have gotten the checkered flag. Take a look at the final results. Andre Savalles gets the win. William Snowden finishes in second. Hugo Correa in third. Not able to get around Snowden there toward the end. You, uh, Harvey Shepard finishes in the fourth position. As you say, Harvey not able to get around Hugo. Wojton finishes in P5. In six, Emerson Sarkowski, Alexander Beshkov finishes in the seventh position. Alexei Salviev in eighth. Gordon Carter finishes in the ninth position. Eugene Fedorov rounding out the top ten. Fabio Massa finishes in the 11th position. Ben Cage finishes in 12th. Mateus Zaleski finishes, excuse me, uh, Javaldo Spindola finishes 13th. Mateus Zaleski 14th. 15th, Claudio Bardelli Jr. And Tony Furtado finishes in the 16th position. So congratulations to Andres Valles on getting the win. A big run there for him. See, we get a better screenshot there. Here we go. Andres Valles in the uh, three car gets the win here at Long Beach. Great job to Andres. It looks like Andres uh, bailed on us, so it uh, looks like we will not have a uh, an interview with him. So congratulations to Andres on getting the win. Really good run there for the guys and a pretty good race there. I know you guys had some trouble, but not too much uh, contact, car-to-car uh, -car contact, more of uh, into the walls, those types of things, but a really good race here at Long Beach. Well, we got some more racing coming out your, uh, your way, and that is Talladega Super Speedway later tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and this Saturday Night Thunder, the Cup Cars at Dega. Race number six of the season, a 70-lap race from that super speedway. I get out of the broadcast booth, get in the driver's seat, and mix it up with the boys here in the Saturday Night Thunder. And that starts at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Schedule-wise here in IndyCar Series, next week we'll be at Barber Motorsports Park for a 50-lap race for race number two, another challenging road course on the docket. What a great run there for Andres Valles, setting himself up maybe for a championship run. Dominating performance by Andres. High Octane Racing League Bushwhacker Series will be back in action at Dover Motor Speedway on April the 26th race number seven of the season and uh, the monster mile hitting you in the face and this will be live on turn left tv at 9 p.m eastern standard time on april the 26th race number seven of the season 130 laps at the monster mile
Tonight's race has been brought to you by EliteHostingUSA.com. If you are interested in an R Factor 2 server, there are three self-managed server packages for you to choose from. Also, if you want to host your website or your online store, EliteHostingUSA.com can provide you with the website. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Turn Left TV channel. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Smash the bell and you'll get updates when races are going live here at Turn Left TV. Hit that thumbs up button and beat the, beat the algorithm. Let's get this race out here for people to see. We had a great race today here at Long Beach. Well, Andres Vallier setting himself up for a good championship run here with a great, great... Uh, uh, effort here at Long Beach. Great run, dominating performance for him. And a fantastic one to broadcast. Hey, we got Pocono Raceway coming up on Tuesday, the Tough Truck Series. It's race number 10, the final race of the season. That's right, we're going to be crowning the champion for season number one of 2024 on Tuesday, April the 23rd. I've been racing in this series as well, so that's been a lot of fun. Uh, so that's coming up on April the 23rd at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's the Top Trucks. Don't forget to join us over at HighOctaneRacing.net if you want to get involved here and race with us. We've been going uh, doing racing for 23 years, since 2001. You can join us on Discord by going to highoctaneracing.net, clicking on the Discord link, and uh, joining us there. That's where we do most of our business. And that's highoctaneracing.net. You get updates of point standings, who's doing what, who's winning what, and uh, schedules and so forth and so on. Uh, so don't forget to join us up there. Also, quick links to the Turn Left TV channel if you want to watch some racing. So don't forget to join us next week at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Barber Motorsports Park in the High Octane Racing League IndyCar Series. It's race number two, a 50-lap race from a very, very challenging road course. Last season, or actually it might have been the season before last, we had a fantastic race at Barber Motorsports Park. Let's see if we can repeat. So that's coming up on April the 22nd or 27th, and it will be live right here on Turn Left TV. Well, thank you so much for joining me here on Turn Left TV. I appreciate you being here tonight. That's going to do it for me. And I am out of here.